Hello and welcome to Making Waves by Todbert. If you enjoy kit building, making electronic circuits, and other do-it-yourself projects, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon to miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us we have IC Station's heart-shaped LED do-it-yourself kit. You can get this kit from China for $8.65, or you can get it from Amazon for $13.29 with prime shipping next day. Um, I went the China route and it took a little longer than I thought. So I'm really close to Valentine's Day here, and I really wanted to get this to my wife. Um, so it's a really cool build. So let's go look at it. Yeah, for eight bucks, um, you get a really neat kit to build and put together uh, that gives you a lot of soldering experience. So let's go ahead and open this up. Yeah, uh, they don't give you instructions. You have to download them. Not a big deal. I'll show you guys that in a second. There's the PCB. There is your 85 LEDs. Yep, 85. <laughs> so you get some experience. 85 times 2, that's how many connections you're going to make there for those LEDs. Um, down, let's see what else we got. I think we got some switches. Um, Alright, so here we go. We got a nice uh, uh, IC here. This has uh, 40 pins. And you have a socket here we're going to solder in. So there you go. We got four, some 40, 40 more connections to make. Let's see what else we got in here. Looks like we get... Uh, Speaker to put on, power switch. We got looks like a capacitor, some mounting screws, and a couple of little smaller switches, looks like momentaries. And then we got a USB power cable. I'm guessing there's a USB power jack in here hiding out. I'm passing it up. I might be passing it up, but it should be in here. There's a way to power the board. You know what? I'm putting this up. I want to know if it's in there. <laughs> Let's see. There it is. Yeah, so it's a little uh, mini USB jack we have to solder on the board. It should be pretty simple. A little close-up of the board. It's got a little cool little hearts and butterflies. Yeah, it's not for the dudes. It's for my wife. <laughs> yes. Um, pretty cool, though, I mean, because there's a lot of work to be involved here. And, uh, yeah, we'll see if my uh, soldering station can keep up. All right, there's the other side. Um, really cool here. It looks like it's programmable. So if you had a cable, you could probably program it with different music. This thing's going to have music playing. And if I remember right, you'll be able to toggle it on and off. So not bad. So there is the kit in a nutshell right there for 8 bucks. Not bad. You get a lot for your money. A um, lot of experience here, I see. So let me just go ahead and slide this over. And this is a first. I'm going to try to use an iPad here for a presentation device. And uh, we'll see how this works out. I may have to zoom up, which I think we're going to do. So yeah, this is what I did. Just downloaded it onto the iPad. And this is the little PDF file, hard shape LED do-it-yourself kit. And it shows you, you know, what you're getting the kit, the values. So they tell you how to build it. Pretty simple. I do like this. I like the fact that you can zoom in. Yeah. So if you guys don't have an iPad, these aren't that bad. Um, I think I had the lowest one you can get, like for $250. I got a bunch of gift cards for Christmas. It would just be a really cool presentation aid, but also good when you're building these things. So you can zoom in and see how they did it. Um, that is a really nice setup. Okay, showing you how to operate it once it's built. All right, I think I zoomed a little too far. I'll zoom back out. Um, so they go installation steps. They talk about what to do. Start with small components first. It's actually a very smart thing. Zoom in on that. Um, so definitely... Um, important thing it makes it easier to work on so they're showing all the leds put in <laughs> i'm laughing because that's a lot of work <laughs> um yeah a lot of tedious thing but you know what again it's one of those great kits for practice and uh yeah you're gonna love it when it's done and get a cool gift you can give to the wife girlfriend significant other yes i'll say that it looks like it's multicolored too so we'll have fun i'll demo this when it's all complete but yeah, there you go. They're showing quite a bit there. Now they show an acrylic case. I think you have to buy that separate. Mine didn't come with the case. It just came with some standoffs. Eh, no big deal. Not worried about not having the case. But there you go. Yeah, you'll be seeing this iPad quite often. I'm going to use this for making waves so you guys can see the PDFs. That way I don't have to print anything out. I can just show you on here. And I'll make a really nice uh, way of showing you guys how to do it. Now, of course, for a build process, I'll take my own pictures and show you those independently. So let's go ahead and slide that off frame, bring this right back in. There we go, definitely color changes with that screen. Bring this back down. 
So yeah, so this will be a pretty neat setup. Here's I'm going to do a close up of the chip. You can kind of see what that is. You could look it up. I believe it's going to tell you how much memory is in this. Um, I I can't really guess, but maybe that eight means eight kilobytes. <laughs> it's it's a pretty small amount of memory. It's just enough to program the flashing lights and a little bit of um, some songs. But I do, if I remember right, they have a really cool pulse width modulation, uh, three channel sound uh, thing. So you have uh, three different sound channels. Uh, that makes it kind of fun. So if you're into hacking these chips, maybe you can make a little chip tune or something of your own. Cool. All right, well, there it is. And I'll be back in a few minutes. Well, a few seconds <laughs> with the pictures of the build process. And I'll give you an idea how long this took me to build. Just by looking at it, I'm guessing two and a half to three hours uh, because I go slow. Some people go fast. Uh, I just take my time, make sure it lines up perfectly. All right, guys, we'll be right back with pictures of the build process and a little demo of what this looks like. All right, guys, we'll be right back. Here are pictures of the build process. In this first picture, I populated the PCB with 85 LEDs. This part took the longest to finish. Make sure that they're nice and straight and that the orientation is the proper. This next picture, I populated the board with the USB power jack, the 40 pin IC socket, and two momentary switches that cycle the LED and music modes. In this next picture, I added the power switch, a 220 microfarad electrolytic capacitor, and a little speaker. In this last picture, I seated the 40 pin IC into the holder. Take your time and straighten any bent legs. I had to take mine, lay it on the table, and then bend it forward at 90 degrees just to get them nice and straight. I then finished this build by adding the four brass standoffs. All right, let's go to the table. Here it is. Awesome, yes, just in time for Valentine's Day. Here we are. The two hearts with the arrow going through it, 85 LEDs, yes. Let's go check out the build there. Oh yeah, so take your time. Once in a while I'd have a crooked one. It's pretty easy to straighten. You just put your iron on one of the leads and kind of push it through. And I'll show you that in a moment on the back side. But there you go. Those all came out really nice. Probably took me about an hour to put all those in. I did them one at a time. I guess you could put them all in at once and then kind of put a, a some type of board to hold it in place and then solder them all in. But then you'll have a bunch of legs to deal with. So it's best just to take your time, do a couple at a time, and then trim the legs off. That's what I did. So over here, okay, you can see some of the components from the other side. So I'm going to flip this. And this side, you can see some of the other components I added. Here are the two momentary switches. Here is the little speaker the 40 pin uh, controller chip here in its socket. Over here we have the mini USB power jack. That wasn't too bad. The terminals are kind of recessed, so take your time. Uh, those are probably one of the smallest connections you'll have to make on this kit. There you go, you can kind of, let me see if I get in the light there. There you go, zoom in. There you go. Yeah, those two little spots right there are probably the hardest to make a connection on, so take your time. Um, there's the power switch connections. Um, there's the little electrical little capacitor there, and over here we have the two momentary switches. You can see one actuates the bell, and one cycles the LED modes. Now this thing is super bright, <laughs> but for eight bucks, um, you had to wait from China. Not too bad. Um, really, a lot of practice here. Good to train your skills, um, and a good little gift to give to somebody special. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do a little demo uh, of this thing in action. Um, I don't know what's going to be best in the dark or with the lights on. Let's try the lights on first. This uh, is pretty bright, you'll see. Let's look up our power. Let's see if I can do this on camera. There we go. We'll go ahead and turn it on. The music will go on. Yes, very bright. So we'll let this go for a few minutes. I'll turn the lights off, see if it makes a difference. lighting the room up. <laughs> yes, a multitude of different songs. <laughs> I like this one. It's one of my favorites. The light scheme. But it's showing up. Yeah. 
<laughs> Get some cool reflections. <laughs> Pretty awesome. That's cool. Okay, you can mute it. I just have a light show, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's super bright. <laughs> Be good at a distance for sure. But uh, yeah, really enjoying this. Um, so yeah, for eight bucks, definitely gets recommended by. I got links down below. I found this uh, company, IC Station, and became an affiliate. So I got links there if you want to support the channel. Feel free to click on them. I'll take you there. You can order these kits. They're really got a bunch of them there, and I have quite a few to feature here on this channel. So yeah, they're very affordable if you don't mind waiting for the shipment from China. I do have an Amazon link to the same kit on Amazon. You'll pay five more bucks, but you'll get it next day. So if you wanted to build this in time for Valentine's Day, uh, go from Amazon Prime and done. <laughs> so there you go. Let's go ahead and just turn that off. And there it is. Let me go ahead and zoom it on down. One last look at it. Yep, good practice board and a neat little gift. Love it. If you enjoyed the video, give me a big like. You guys are awesome. Two, if you like these uh, do-it-yourself kits and electronic projects, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon, get notified of future videos like this. And of course, three, comment below what you think about the two hearts and one LED kit. 85 LEDs, little uh, controller there that you can program if you know what you're doing. I don't yet, but uh, maybe I'll get into researching that and figure out how to program one of those. Yeah, just like put my own music on there. <laughs> Yeah, some of those music's kind of corny, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it. So let me know what you guys think. All right, guys, take care, and we'll see you in the next video.